I'm Sean Hollister with CNET, and I'm here at PlayStation Experience in San Francisco to show you the PlayStation VR headset. This is what Job Simulator is all about. I am in a crazy job of the future that I really probably wouldn't want to do in real life. So this is some kind of, some kind of corporate drone job, cubicles all around me. Usually VR experiences don't let you just reach out, grab objects, and throw them around. That's something that's been pretty new for this game. And because we have these PlayStation Move controllers and the camera there tracking it, all we can do that. Yes, game within a game. So meta. So that was Job Simulator 2015. Now let's try something a little bit different. Instead of playing around with my cubicle environment, I'm in the cockpit of a space fighter. The audio is really immersive too. Even though this is a set of discrete headphones, they aren't built into the headset. You can definitely tell that there's some thrusters behind me that are propelling this ship. Headset's really comfortable too. I mean, I can do all these motions without feeling like there's a lot of weight on my forehead or the back of my head or anything. And the whole, the whole cockpit just shattered, I think, by ship's toast. These are just two of the many virtual reality experiences announced this year, and for just one of the major VR headsets we expect in 2016. But they're a lot of fun. They really feel to me like killer apps for the platform, reasons you might buy a VR headset to begin with. I'm looking forward to playing both of them next year.